Hey guys, how's it going? I am in the 2011 Jeep Patriot with 192,000 miles. Now, I wasn't going to make a video today, but I encountered the most expensive issue ever, and that's the transmission. And to be quite honest with you, I think the transmission may be out. Let me show you what I mean. Go ahead and start it up. I'm going to put it in drive. And when I try to take off, it barely moves. Barely. See? And I'm going to try to back up. It moves just a little bit. See, I'm giving it gas. And it's not going anywhere. Let's try drive one more time. As you can see, it's in drive. It ain't moving nowhere. Now, I do have a code that check engine light is on. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna pull up the codes for you real quick. So, <clears throat> solenoid B stuck on. Now, I don't know nothing about CVT transmissions whatsoever. All I know is is that the still the solenoid is stuck open, and this is what's causing this transmission issue. And from my concern, from what I heard, because it's secondary, it could be quite expensive to repair. Now I've watched other YouTube videos of mechanics replacing the solenoid. They made it look so easy. But my concern is, is that replacing that solenoid would that fix the issue with the transmission or is the, the, the transmission completely went to shock so i don't know i don't know and it's like i wasn't expecting this to happen i wasn't even gonna make a video today but you can hear the whining noise And the rear part, I'm giving it gas right now. It's kind of hard to tell, but you see I'm pushing it all the way down. And now it's not even responding to my pedal input. And it's in part. So that's kind of weird to me. It's, it's, it's so weird. And I just don't understand what is going on with this Jeep Patriot. Now I've had vehicles that transmissions went out on me before like the white ford explorer that was on this channel but now it's like i'm giving it gas and it's not even it's not even responding to my input which is weird almost like it's like a in limp mode so i don't know i'm gonna probably get this this car towed to the shop and have it diagnosed but I've called a few shops and one shop said, well, you know, you probably have to get another transmission and that's going to cost you $3,400. I don't think I'm willing to pay that much. I can just use that as a down payment on another car. I don't know. So, so I don't know what you guys think. And also, I just found out that the rear subframe on this vehicle is also rust and rotted to hell so i don't know is it is it worth me putting all this money into it and quite honestly i don't even know if the transmission has went out or if it's just the solenoid that's making it doing what it's doing now because again this is the first vehicle i've ever owned with a cvt transmission and i don't know much about cvt transmissions this is, you know, I have no experience with them whatsoever. I just know that some CVT transmissions, or most of them, to the best of my knowledge, does not shift or have gears. I know newer cars with CVT transmissions, like Nissan, etc., will fake shift. But this one, it doesn't shift at all. So, I don't know what you guys think. What you guys think? Should I have them? Should I, should I just have it told to the local shop? 
spend the ninety five dollars for them to download it to tell me, oh, you need a new transmission, which I think that's probably what's going to be the answer. Or should I just go with it and just see how much it costs to get the solenoid replaced to see if that will fix the issue? Comment below. Let me know. Also, uh, the Explorer is down as well. The white 2002 Ford Explorer. I made a video on that last time. The last video I made was on that. The oil pump sending unit was replaced. But now I lost oil pressure again. And for whatever reason, I cannot get it to start at all. And I think the engine's pretty much gone in that. So anyway, comment below. What you guys think? Is it worth me taking it to the shop? Spending the $95 for them to diagnose it? Now, I understand there was some people that told me, well, it could just be the solenoid issue. But me, I think the transmission is gone. Like, I don't know. Comment below. Tell me what you think. And I'll see y'all in the next one.